Hello? Slick! Oh, you must be Michael's boy! Ugh. Oh, man! Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has? Because they can afford it? Because, frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. And that's coming from you? Please. Mmm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. We see which one of you two is for real. So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Just hit the button right there on screen, and we'll get moving. In the meantime, one of Dre's people... Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. Get over there and recover anything that might tell us where they're holding him. He's supposed to be in witness protection. and bring them to the warehouse. Special cargo ready for collection. Go get it and bring it to the warehouse. It's there for taking. Get it and bring it back to the warehouse. We're good to go. Collect the product and bring it back for storage. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh... Try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. such as Mr. Rook. Bill, Trouble will do its best to seek you out. Found it. And is this an Avenger they are using? I am impressed. My guess is the weapons are on there. You have the weapons, yes? Good. Because it would seem the Avenger did a little takeoff while you were not looking. I suggest you do not stick around for the landing. Maybe get some fresh air, huh? You know, I once worked alongside American private security company. It was after this I swore I would never again leave my submarine. Good. Now let's take a look inside that adventure. That must be where we will find the weapons. Where would the American economy be without private military companies, huh? Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. You want me to slow down? I'm kind of running away with it, huh? Hey, shut up a minute, Wade. Cap 
Get your mind me to tie my way to a gathering. It's exciting. If we're taking a, a road trip, we'll like need a car, won't we? Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Road trip? We taking this one? Get in. Someone's planning charges. You don't look right, friend. What the fuck was that? They're coming at us. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, <laughs> hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the. Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Feel 
like no one loves me.